hello my good welcome back to my channel if you're seeing the video for the first time or coming across this channel for the first time please kindly subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to like our videos or to share it with friends this is the rising sun tv and what we'll do here we analyze news we make comments on topics that are trending and also we give our thoughts on some issues as it has to do with the eastern part of nigeria known as the biafran people and also some occurrences in nigeria but today i want to do something different i want to talk about the reason why i believe strongly that the biafran people should have their freedom come 2023 and Others may have named they call it, but to me, I call it a prison break. There's going to be a prison break in Nigeria in 2023. And that prison break is to liberate everyone that has been in prison in Nigeria. So the topic I'm treating this hour is Nigeria is an open air prison. Yes. You might have your opinion. Like I said before, this is my personal opinion. You are entitled to your opinion and you're welcome to criticize. You're welcome to use the comment section, criticize it as much as you want. And if I'm right, because I'm going to give you some points, use the reason why I believe what I believe and why I'm doing what I'm doing. If you believe I'm right, you can use the comment section as well to tell me I'm right, right on. Okay, before I go into that, like I said before, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, don't forget to do that. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that Google will notify you whenever we release fresh video like this. Okay. I believe that Nigeria is an open air prison. Though it's something they put together to call a country. But the characteristics or the activities going on in Nigeria, right from when it was formed till now, is exactly the same thing that happened in prisons all over the world. For instance, I will give you an example why I call Nigeria an open air prison. Some people feel comfortable living inside Nigeria. Some people feel the heat. But there are some things you can't forget is that you're not free in Nigeria. That's something that you can never deny. The rich knows that he's not free. The poor knows that he's not free. Though it's only the poor that is feeling it so much. Now, if you look at the prison setting, the way prison is built, the way prison is being run, the powerful fit, uh, feels a bit comfortable. Though they are incarcerated, but there are some privileges they enjoy because they are strong, because they are influential, because they are powerful inside the prison. That's the same way it goes in Nigeria. The rich, the elite, or the political class of Nigerians, they enjoy some privileges. Though they are still inside the same confinement called Nigeria, yet there are some privileges they enjoy, which made them believe that they are okay. Some prisoners might want to remain in prison because they are lord. They, they don't want to go out because outside the world they, they might feel intimidated or might see someone to challenge them but inside the prison that they are president so they might want to remain there that's the same way our political class wants to remain in nigeria because of the stupid things they gain because of the peanuts because of the corruption they enjoy okay let me give you a few points <laughs> sorry about that okay the point number one I want to bring out is this. It's only in prison that people will not hesitate to leave if the opportunity comes. No free man will ever be quick enough to leave his father's house if the person is indeed free. If you are indeed a freeborn or you're free, you have the right to do whatever you are, want to do or you have the right to enjoy the 
privileges as a freeborn. You're not a slave. You're not a, a prisoner. You will not be quick enough to leave your father's house without knowing where you're going or without having an assurance that this is where I'm going and this is what I want to go and do there. You would rather remain in your father's house because there you know you'll be taken care of. There you know you'll be respected. There you know that the privileges as a son is there. But in Nigeria today, just go on a street, give a Nigerian visa. Now, you don't. the person doesn't know where he's going, what he's going to do. He will jump into the plane and run away. That's because here is a prison. It's only in prison that people see an opportunity. They use every opportunity to run away, and they make good use of it. Whenever the opportunity comes calling, they jump into it without knowing where they're going. When somebody wants to run away from prison, the first thing the person is just saying is, let me escape first. Where the person is going, the person doesn't know. Where, what happens after he climbs the fence of that prison, the walls of that prison, the person doesn't care to know. The first thing the person is thinking, and the only thing he's concentrating on, is just to live at first. So that is the same way people living in Nigeria behave. You see them traveling to abroad without knowing where they are going or what they are going to do there. You see some girls following people to travel outside Nigeria without even knowing, having a clue. Where am I going? What am I going to do there? What's the type of job, the nature of job? How am I going to live there? How am I going to survive? They don't have a kind of arrangement or plans of what they are going to do and where they are going. It's because they are looking for an opportunity to escape the prison called Nigeria is a place that people live some are riding cars in it some are building houses some are wedding some are building mansions some are suffering some are laughing some are suffering and at the same time smiling yet all of them are living in prison even you called the governor local government chairman the president, whatever title you hold, you are a prisoner. You're just holding that title inside the prison because inside the prison, there is always a chairman, a president, a prison president, just like we have in Nigeria. We have presidents of prisons. So another point I want to give you, you've heard stories of Nigerians traveling to the desert just to escape the confinement. Most of them will risk their life. Of course, let's say 80% of people, the people that traveled through that desert died. And the same people that went on that journey, that I'm back, back on the same journey, knew that 80% of them would die. Only 20, about 20 or 10 of them will survive it. Yet, they will embark on the journey, knowing that their life is 90% gone. They depend on that 10% to survive yet they embark on the journey. A Nigerian will swim on infested um, crocodile-infested water just to escape, to cross over to a, in, in, in a different country, just to escape the confinement called Nigeria. Nigeria is a prison. This place is an open a prison. I don't know the way you see it. I don't know what you believe. But I've checked it all around. This place is called an open air prison. It's a contraction. People are being suppressed. People have been dealt with just as in the prison. It's only in prison that a human right and human life is not valued. In prison, people can fight and kill one another. The only thing the prison warder will do is to separate them. Maybe give the other one a few days punishment. The person will be locked up for a few days. It will still come out again and keep walking around inside the prison. In Nigeria today, the life of a Nigerian is not valued. It's equal to one cow. According to the assessment of the ruling powers, they say if you kill a cow, you pay 200000 
And if Fulani people kill a Nigerians, they will pay 200,000, which means a human life in Nigeria is equal to one cow. That's a mathematics that you can only see in a prison. The life of people living in prison, they are not valued. A criminal can kill a criminal in prison and go scoffy so long as he commits a crime in his prison. The life of people living in Nigeria is not valued. Your property is not secured, just like in prison. Just keep money inside prison. Somebody will take it. And you cannot even, you may know the person that did it, but there's nothing you can do about it. You cannot report the person to anybody. That is what you see in Nigeria today. The rich deal with the poor, just like it's done in the prison. The prison chairman, the prison lord, they took the bread meant for other ones and eat it alone. And nobody would torture them. Nobody would do anything to them. That's what you see in Nigeria today. The rich, they took everything that is meant for everyone. And they keep it for themselves. They enjoy it for themselves. Because Nigeria is a prison. Who will you report to? The same people that are responsible for those things? Or the same people that are responsible for all the killings happening in Nigeria? Or is it the same people that are responsible for seizing what is meant for everyone? I could remember during that COVID period, news was coming out. Warehouses were being broken. What do they find inside? Parliament. Um, relief materials that are supposed to be shared to the people during the time they were locked at home for six months. One person, or let me say a group of persons, lock it in a warehouse. They are not even using it. They don't even need it. Why lock it up? It's because that is what you can see only in a prison. It's only in a prison that the chairman will want to tell everyone that I'm in charge. It's only in prison that the people will be suffering while the chairman is holding everything to himself. He will not release it because he wants to show them that I'm in charge. That's the type of thing you see in Nigeria. So my brother and my sister, wherever you are, if you listen to me, don't just judge whatever topic I put out there by the title. Try to listen to what we say and why I believe strongly that there's going to be a prison break in Nigeria. The prison break will happen and everyone will be free, both the rich and the poor, both the political class and both, to the, peop both the people that have been suppressed. Everyone will be free. The prison break is on and it's ongoing already. But it will be finalized by 2023. Nigeria will be free. The indigenous people of Nigeria will be free come 2023. That prison break must happen. And you have a role to play. And that role you have to play is to say no election in your zone. If you don't vote them in, they won't have any power to torment you. If you don't vote them in, they will not have any right, any power, any authority to remain there. Or to torment you. Don't validate your suffering. Don't be part of the people that will say, let's remain the way we are. Let's keep suffering. Or let's give so, -so, so man a chance. Maybe he can do something. Trust me, this place is irredeemable. There is nothing anybody can do to redeem this place because it wasn't designed to be, to be redeemed. It wasn't designed to favor anybody. It's only designed to favor those that are ready to soil their hands. So long as you're ready, not ready to touch blood in Nigeria, trust me, you find it so difficult to make it. So long as you're not ready to steal something that you know that doesn't belong to you. So long as you're not ready to go into internet fraud. So, lo flood, uh, fraud. so long as you're not ready to kill or to steal or to destroy you are not going to make it in Nigeria. Nigeria is not a place that hard work pays. You work hard, you suffer harder. The more hard you work, the more harder 
you suffer. That is the way Nigeria is designed because Nigeria is an arrangement. Nigeria is a business plan made by some people only for their own profit, only for them to benefit. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. They don't care about the ethnic communities in Nigeria. Nigeria wasn't made to be or to profit anybody except a certain group of persons who has been profiting from Nigeria from the beginning. And these same people are the ones telling you to go and vote for such a person. Even after voting that person, there is no guarantee that you're going to be free. But I'm telling you today, there is an option for you. And that option is for you to accept the fact that this prison break needs to happen. Yes, it needs to happen. And it's going to happen. How is going to it going to happen? Because even the people in Nigeria, the authorities, though there are some people that have made it their duty to pilot the affairs of setting everyone free, even the government, they are helping them because they're so dumb and stupid. Like I said, they're prisoners. They don't think like normal people. They think like prisoners. So everything, just like the Bible said that everything works together, for good to them that love God. Everything is working together to give everybody the freedom we are looking for. And that freedom is going to come in form of prison break. We are going to break this prison. The walls of this prison, the invisible wall of prison, we are going to break it. And it's going to happen come 2023. So I want you to queue in. I want you to join the moving train. Stop criticizing. Stop going against what we do if you are instructed to sit at home do that if you are instructed not to go out to vote don't go out to vote because if you vote you validate your suffering you validate your enslavement you give them the power to torment you more and more you give them the right to keep stealing what belongs to you you give them the right to keep suppressing you you still made them the prison lord by going out there to vote for them why not destroy this prison at once? Why not end it? Why not free yourself from shackles? If, let's say today, you're comfortable in Nigeria because you can eat three square meals in a day, though that's not the food you should be eating. Because almost everything that is sold in Nigeria that junk, all the packaged food in Nigeria is not fit for any human consumption, except in Nigeria. You know of the story of a man that took the carbonated drinks from Nigeria to abroad to sell, and he was arrested. He came back to Nigeria to sue the Nigerian bottling companies. The, he was told that the drinks that, were, that you took from Nigeria is meant for Nigerians, which means they knew it was a poison. Yet, because people living in Nigeria are prisoners, it's only prisoners that eat beans that are not done. It's only prisoners that eat food that are not fit for others. And that is the type of food you eat in Nigeria. It's only prisoner that doesn't have access to good medical services. And that is what you see in Nigeria. It's only prisoner that doesn't have access to good water. That is what you see. It's only prisoners that doesn't have access to good road or everything that makes life meaningful and enjoyable. Is only in Nigeria you can see that. Nigeria is a big prison. And that walls of that prison need to be broken come 2023. I want you to follow us. I want you to join us. It doesn't matter where you're coming from, the ethnic community you're coming from. The most important thing is for you to free yourself first. Then a referendum can decide if you want to be alone, if you want to join others. Why not free yourself first from all these shackles? This stupid confinement built by the British and handed over to the Funanis to torment us and give them profit. Listen, this whole rubbish needs to end. And I thank God for people like Simon Eba, Sunday Boho, Coin K Media, and the rest of them that are piloting this. I want you to follow them. Go on YouTube, listen to their videos. They have something upstairs to offer. Follow them and trust me, 
you will enjoy a better life once this confinement is broken. Thank you for coming around to watch our video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share it. And most importantly, don't forget to get click on the notification button to get notified whenever we release fresh video. Okay, that's it for now. And we'll meet again when I have fresh topic for you. I do release video every day. So do come around to watch us. Thank you very much. God bless.